Are you gonna join me for brunch? Because today we're gonna make this amazing cream cheese smoked salmon board. Charcuterie boards have been the craze for the last year. We have been doing a ton of them for catering, but this new idea about doing boards right on to a cutting board. So you could do goat cheese, cream cheese, there's been butter boards, all different kinds of varieties. Today we're gonna make a cream cheese board. So less ingredients, it's more cost effective, but this is gonna be delicious for your next brunch. So we're gonna use room temperature cream cheese, you can use any size board that you want. I have a small cutting board here. So we're gonna take our room temp cream cheese. We're gonna put a dollop here. And I'm just gonna spread it down all over the board. Of course, make sure your board is nice and clean because your guests are gonna be eating right off of this board. So we're gonna put that, the dollop, and kind of make a little pattern here. Cover this board and our cream cheese. And this is also great because you can make it ahead of time before people come over. And then that way you have it ready for everyone to enjoy. So the great thing about these boards is you can add whatever you want to the top of this. So for our cream cheese board here, we're gonna do some smoked salmon. I'm gonna Break apart smoked salmon around the board. And we used a container of cream cheese and just one package of smoked salmon. So I don't even know if you need to use the entire package of smoked salmon, but you can gauge it by putting it around. Look at this board. This looks amazing already. Delicious. So we have our smoked salmon, then I'm gonna add some red onion. Not a lot, I'm just gonna sprinkle this around. Next we're gonna add some capers. Some chives for garnish, you could add dill, chives, some little parsley for garnish, anything you like. This board, it looks amazing. Add a little mimosa with this, and this is perfect for your next brunch. So right before serving, I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil right on top. Perfect. And I'm gonna dig in. For the full recipe, visit NikkiGlekis.com and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.